let us discuss the structure of a typical tooth. We know that there are different types of teeth in our jaw, incisors, canines, premolars, molars. We are talking about a typical tooth structure and our teeth are fitted in our jaw bones. The lower jaw is known as mandible, the lower jaw bone and the upper jaw bones are called maxilla. So there are depressions in our jaw bones in which these teeth are fitted. So let us say this is our jaw bone and there is this depression. So this structure is our lower jaw or it can be upper jaw. So let us write this as jaw bone. If it is lower jaw, then the bone is known as mandible. And if it is upper jaw, then there are two bones and they are known as maxilla. And there are these depressions in our jaw bones. In this, our tooth is fitted. So, how is this tooth placed here? Suppose we draw this tooth. This is how it is placed. In our tooth, we have three parts. And we know that some part of our tooth is covered with gums. So here are those gums under which some part of the tooth is covered. And now if we see, we can see three parts. The part of the tooth which is visible to us from outside is known as crown. The part of the tooth which is hidden underneath the gum is known as the neck part and the part of the tooth which is inside this bony socket is known as the root. So there are three parts, the crown which is the visible part, the neck part which is underneath the gum part and whatever is inside our bone that is called the root. The crown part where we see a white shiny substance so only in the crown part, there is this white shiny substance, which is known as the enamel. And this enamel is the hardest part of our body. This is enamel and it is the hardest material of our body. And it is very white and shiny substance. White, shiny substance. It has salts of calcium. Now underneath this, there is the substance which is called dentine. And as I told you earlier, that everything which is tooth related has dent in it. The doctors are known as dentists. The artificial teeth, the 32 set complete teeth set is known as dentures. So where is that dentine? So dentine is inner to enamel and it is going to be forming the major part of our tooth. This is all dentine. So this dotted part which we are talking about, this is dentine. Dentine is not very white, it is little creamish. It is also hard, but not as hard as the enamel is. This is our dentine.
it makes the major part of our tooth and then you see this inner part this inner part is known as the pulp and in this pulp are present cells blood vessels nerve fibers so from here you can see some nerve fibers like from here there are these nerve fibers going and there are blood vessels also and this is the nerve fiber now how is this fitted in the bone right now we have just placed it here so there is a cement like material which is present between the bone and the teeth so here there is all cement like material with which the tooth is attached to our bone this is that cement like material and with this our tooth is properly fitted into our jaw bones and that is why when we have to extract the tooth the doctors give us injection which is going to create a local anesthesia so that we don't feel the pain because whenever you are uprooting it this is all living the pulp is all living tissue there is blood supply there is there are nerves so you feel the pain sometimes we complain of dental caries or cavities what causes this dental caries or cavities when we eat something the food particles they remain stuck in our uh, between our teeth if we don't wash it or clean it properly these food particles they attract bacteria so when the bacteria grow in our mouth they secrete acid slowly this acid is going to dissolve this enamel so if this enamel dissolves slowly this layer will become thinner and thinner it will become like this and now whatever you eat cold hot it is going to hit the living part and when it hits the living part it causes pain and tooth pain is very bad and that is why we need to take care of our teeth and the best way to take care of our teeth is brush after eating anything people always blame it on chocolates that chocolates are responsible for dental caries but it is any food item which remains stuck in our teeth chocolates are given a blame because chocolates are little sticky and they remain stuck in our teeth for a longer period of time so you eat whatever you want to eat chocolates or whatever but every time you eat just brush your teeth properly so that all those food particles which are there they are removed and then our tooth will stay healthy you must have also heard about root canal treatment so this is that root part so whenever there is some kind of infection the doctors treat this lower part because this is the living part and if they treat it the infection is gone then the tooth remains healthy this is a typical a uh, tooth structure we have drawn a molar or a premolar because the cusp is like this there is a depression so we have drawn a depression that means the other tooth which fits on this has to have a bulge so if one tooth has a depression like this the other tooth has to have a bulge so that grinding can take place properly so three parts of a typical tooth the visible part is the crown which is white shiny substance and that is the enamel part inner to enamel and the remaining major part is the dentine dentine is also hard it is also hard 
it is not as white as enamel but it is you can say creamish creamish white not very shiny white and it is also hard but again not as hard as enamel so this is the structure of a typical tooth and these are the three parts out of which dentine and pulp are considered as living because there are some cells also along with it which you will study in your senior classes like 11th and 12th if you opt for biology so dentine is also living and pulp is also living so here in front of dentine we write that it is living and with pulp also we write it is living and enamel is dead because once it is formed there is no cell in this particular material so this is a particular tooth so now we know different types of teeth we also know the dental formula and we also now know the structure of a typical tooth